Hello and welcome to the garden. Well, it's a bit of a miserable day here today. It's windy, it's overcast, drizzly, and just not very nice. But that is actually a perfect moment to do some planting. It's much better than planting out when it's really hot and dry and the plants can suffer a little bit then. So I'm down by the cold frames and that means it is melon time. So <laughs> these cold frames, they were in use over winter and then the spring. So the two at the far end, they had our Chima de Rapa. They've been cleared now. And these two had over winter, they had, one had lettuce and the other had tatsoy in, I think. That's all been cleared. We've added some manure and a little bit of feed there, some fish blood and bone, and that's all ready. And let me show you one of the frames. So you can see we've got this old weed fabric here. It's the same one we've been using for a long time. This, this can, if you get a decent fabric, it can certainly last more than 10 years, much more than 10 years. So although it's plastic, it's not exactly a, a short term plastic. It will last for many years if looked after. And it's ideal here when we want to grow in the frame as a whole, we can roll this back and just tuck it up at the back there or put it away and in use now it's just got these two holes that's quite handy it means that any fruit don't sit on the soil and it keeps some of the weeds down you might be able to see that there's a bit of a mound in the center here and that's where this part of the the frame has had some horse compost dug in and it's just it's just been forked lightly into the surface and then it's been left deliberately in a bit of a mound and that's not bad from a watering perspective because you don't want the area around the plant itself to get too wet they are a little bit prone all of the cucurbits are a little bit prone to rots around the neck so that will help keep those happy of course they're not going to get too much water in the frames here so they should be quite happy to grow in here. Well, I've got four frames. I'm gonna put two plants in each frame. So I need eight plants and of course I've got spares. I've got a dozen plants and I will probably try and find somewhere to put those. Maybe I can squeeze a couple in in the greenhouses somewhere and let them scramble around. But I've got three varieties. That doesn't work out quite right. So I've got Ogun. That is, well, that comes from Israel, but possibly it's thought that it might be of Eastern European origin. And that is one of the parents, I believe, of the Galia hybrid. So I don't grow the hybrid version, I'm growing the, the original. And that's a very nice, a fairly small, green fleshed melon. And then I've got Zata. I haven't grown that one before, but it, it's been on my it's been on my list for quite a while. That's one of the sort of rather ugly ribbed sorts of melons. They look like a small pumpkin in form, and that's got a pinkish orange flesh. And what's the last one? Um, ananas. That's it. So that that is. Uh, it's a let's say let's say it's broadly a, a pale whitish flesh it can be green towards the skin and it can have a little bit of pink towards the seeds but that's a little bit similar in in color to the ogun i think so i'm going to put i think two zata in the first frame the, the frames at this end get the best sun and then i think two ananas, two of the ogun, and in the frame at the end, I think I'll put maybe another ogun and another zata. And that will do nicely. Let me show you a couple of the plants. So as usual, they're slightly floppy specimens. The melons are always slightly scrappy plants. This one is an ogun. I'll just tap that out and have a look. We'll see what sort of root system it's got. Well, actually, it's got plenty of roots. It's not too bad. 
it's not too pot bound or anything, but it definitely wants to go in either here or in another pot, but I'm going to get these planted out right now. Um, I may pinch out the tips at some point. They're not quite long enough, I think, most of these at this stage, so I'm not going to do that just yet. But anyway, time to get them in the frames. Well, because this has already been prepared, this couldn't be easier. I'm just going to break up the soil here. It's a little bit lumpy. And of course, it's quite dry in this frame. So after I've got this planted, I will give this a thorough watering. So. Yeah, that's a nice little plant. I'm quite happy with that. I'm not setting that any deeper. If anything, quite the opposite. I'd like it sat up just a little bit and hopefully then we don't have any problems with the neck of that plant. Again, a little bit lumpy in here and quite dry. They don't look too bad actually. Melons are always slightly scruffy plants, but uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with those at the moment. And it's always good to have some spares with these. Now I need to give this a really good soak in here to rehydrate the frame as a whole. It's no good just giving this a drop because all of that dry soil is going to wick away the moisture. I'll just pop a label in so I don't forget what that is. Although the fruit will be quite distinctive on this variety. quite loose in here because this was the uh, compost was just sort of forked in there which has loosened it up nicely yeah I mean there's plenty of root there but I don't think that's too bad And although they will form roots from the stem there, I don't like to plant any of the cucurbits bits deep. You can do it, but I think it's probably better for the stem not to and set them up, if anything, a little bit high so that the moisture drains away from that stem well. That'll do nicely. I just used some bricks here to give the plants a little bit of ventilation. They'll be quite happy like that.
put a brick on top so that the frames don't blow around and that job is done. So next I've got the Ogun, and there's not a lot to choose between these plants really. They're all pretty similar in, in stature. Sometimes you find one variety racing away, or one slow coach, but these are all pretty similar I think. Right. Slightly different root system there but not too bad. Yeah, I'd, I'd like these to grow a little bit more before I think about pinching out the tops. So you can pinch out the growing tip at some point and that will encourage side shoots to develop which you can train out. I mean, one of the common ways is to train them out in a cross shape doesn't really matter but you want to keep you want to keep stuff pruned back a little bit and under control i do have a bad habit of just leaving them to their own devices and then they run wild in here and i don't really want that and i will be limiting the number of fruits it's always a tricky judgment and if you want to go for the very best fruit then limiting it to maybe only two per plant for the larger fruited sorts is pretty pretty good. You can of course try and get more fruit but the more you have the more likely it is that you're going to produce small and nasty little fruits and, and that's not what we're after here so. Melons are plentiful from the supermarket or the greengrocer so I'm not interested really in producing nasty little fruits I want some good good melons if I can get them so between two and four per plant depending how they're doing we'll judge that later in the year you don't want to be too hasty in pulling off potential fruits. You want to make sure they are set properly and the, they are developing. They can, they can sort of give up after a little bit and if you pulled all the others off that would be unfortunate but yeah I shall probably limit these to between two and four per plant. Well I'm always happy when the melons are in the frames here this is what I really want the frames for I've got two on the other side that have strawberries in and that's fine but these four these are always going to be for my melons in the summer so anyway they are a slightly tricky little crop can't always guarantee getting decent fruit off of them last year it was a bit of a miserable season we did get some nice melons but I don't think they were quite the size or quite the sweetness that we would have liked so hopefully we'll have slightly better conditions this summer. It's proper miserable right now but I'm hoping this doesn't last too long and these get plenty of warmth and sun throughout the season and we get a decent crop. I've got four spares, I will put them somewhere in the greenhouses, not sure where yet but I'll just let them scramble around and more than anything I want to just plant them somewhere so that if one of these fails, if I get a problem with one of these plants then I've got a spare that I can move into the frame to replace it. So I did lose one plant from the frames last year and I didn't have a replacement for that one so that was a little bit annoying but this year I've got the spares and I can always move them. So. Anyway, that is all for this video. Thanks ever so much for watching and bye for now.